Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, and that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I'm a reader and a writer. And I'm back today to do a tag called the Birth Year Book Tag. And yeah, strategically, I really see this around my birthday. I originally saw this a few years ago on David Wiley's channel, and the original creator is Criminali. So both of their channels are linked down below. And on to the questions. Question number one, have you read any books published in the year you were born? And I have, I have read 10. If so, what is your favorite and why? And my favorite is In the Hand of a Goddess by Tamara Pierce. This book made her my favorite author of my whole childhood. And it's a second in a series, but I ended up reading it first and not realizing it. Follows Alana, who is pretending to be a male so she can become a knight. And in this, the there's a goddess character who takes a bigger look and approach at her life and the progress that she is making. So this is one of my favorite books ever. However, <clears throat> however, there is another equally good book that I really love, and that is The Hero and the Crown by Robin McKinley. Robin McKinley was my second favorite author of my childhood. And this book also came out in 1984. And this book follows Erin as she's a princess who gets overlooked by a lot of people. And there's some strange rumors about her mother's death. And it's just following her as she's growing into an adulthood and kind of figuring out who she is. And she ends up befriending a horse that was lamed and helping that horse get better and then they go and they fight dragons so i always loved it as it was a story about a, a girl who chose her own path in life and i like that her dad never tried to stop her even when he was like i'm not quite sure why you're doing that but okay question number two have you read any books published in the year you turned 18 and, of course, by 18, I was very much an established reader. Again, having my own favorite authors. And so I went back and counted, and I've read 37 books published in 2002. And my favorite of those was Lady Night by Tamara Pierce. Again, favorite author of my teenagehood. I read everything she had as soon as it came out. <laughs> Once I got caught up, obviously, on the ones that were published when I was little. And this book follows Kel. Like, so for the f first book I showed you, Alana's the first woman in, like, 300 or so odd years who tries to be a knight. Kel is the next one after Alana because Alana has opened the door. And Alana has magic, Kel does not. So she has a very different experience. And I really like the Lady Knight one because... It shows that just because you're a knight, you don't always go out and fight. In fact, she gets tasked with setting up a refugee camp and being in charge of the refugees. Not because she's not a capable fighter, but because she ha she's very strategic and she can make those relationships. So I really enjoy this book a lot. Question number three. Out of the last ten books you read, how many were published before you were born? And the answer to this is none. None of them were published before I was born. In fact, I think all 10 of the books that I have read were published after I turned 18. I think the oldest one was part of the Charlie Bone series, so in the late 2000s. However, that doesn't mean that I don't read things older than me. It just means out of the last 10, I didn't. <laughs> Question number four. Moving away from stories and books and going to stories and movies. What's your favorite movie from your birth year and why? And this one was a little hard, you know, looking through 
like a list of movies on imdb.com there were some very good ones like ghostbusters and nausicaa but the one that i've settled as my favorite is the never ending story which is based off of a book and i think i just really connected to that character when i first saw the movie it's about a young boy who is being bullied and just wants a safe space to be himself and to read have fun and that's how I felt at the age that I saw that movie. And I did see the movie before I went and read the book. Question number five. What's your favorite movie from the year you turned 18 and why? And now I've watched so many more movies from 2002 because that's just kind of what you do as a teenager. And so some great ones that came out is The Two Towers, The Born Identity, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, but my favorite is Lilo and Stitch. It's an animated movie about an alien who ends up in the Hawaiian Islands and learns what family is and that just because you're programmed or taught to be something doesn't mean you have to be that way. And it still makes me kind of tear up and cry every time I see it now. This has been the birth year book tag and anybody who's interested, I invite you to do this as well. Thank you and have a great day.